Welcome back. So just for the fun of it, to show you more power about the reset, I've just gone in here and done a few of these. Git revert head, no edit, boink, git revert head, no edit. Notice my, my history here, and let me try and open my GitHub client just to show you. All of these guys will pop up, and the text message here is revert of, revert of, revert of, revert of, revert of, revert of, blah, 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 blah. They suck. Nothing has changed. All in all, I just want to go back to the first version of this. That's my goal in this lesson. And I can do that with the reset. So I want to go back to this guy, added more text. So I'll find out where do I want to go back and I will actually reset, removing all of these versions. Now you have to notice this because that's again, you are removing versions, meaning you are removing history in your revision three. So you have to know what you're doing here. It's scary stuff. You might destroy history of your code and you might also destroy code. But I'm going to do it here. So I'm going to, I want to revert back to this. I want to actually reset back to this, removing all of these guys in between. Because I know this is the version I want to work from. So I'll say 5D89. I'll just copy it here. Um, there we go. And then I'll say git reset. And then I'll paste it in here. That wasn't the right one. So let me just get it again here. 5D890 F8. 5D890 H8. Wasn't that it? Oh man, memory. My memory is so bad. It was F8, you stupid. I'll do enter and now I have on stage changed it after reset and I've modified text document 5 because it's different. Let's see what happens. Did you see that? All of the in-between commits are gone. It just disappeared. And now my file 5 is actually back, removed this and changed it back to don't steal my chair but it's not committed. It's just reset to that version. So now I can commit it if I want to. I can, the changes in the file are there for me to now commit, but this will give me a more, a prettier path of my version. So let's just commit this. Now it's easier to read, commit. And I'll just have this version now with the reset. Okay, so I can actually go in and remove versions that I feel are just too, if I do too many versions of the same thing, I can go back in history and remove the versions in between. But again, just beware that you might lose code in there, but it will actually tell you the changes from the version that you remove to the current version. So it'll add those. So let's just try and do it again. Let's go even further back. Um, let's go back to this. Revert of life is awesome and do it once more. Git reset, revert life is awesome, FE79DF9. And let's fire this one and see what happens. It did the reset, let's try and open it. And you lose a lot. Again, notice that I'm losing all the versions in between, they're gone. So, everything is now back and all the versions in between are gone. And I could, of course, go back to my version one if I wanted to, all the way back to the start of this project. You'll notice that, of course, my folder also reflects this. Uh, it's been reset. The files that I added here, they're not gone. But we'll look at that next time in the next uh, setup, how we can actually force things into being just like that version if we want to. So see you in the next lessons where we'll try and do even crazier things with the reset.